quite brief. It's going to be quite fanny from the horror audience crowd, so bear with me. But I'm going to ask Reg first. Um, because the influence of this film is actually quite, has an interesting one. So can you just mention where you got the idea from? Yeah, well, I mean, really, what it was, the, um, the idea is, is um, it was based on an old horror film that was written in 1974 and made into a short film. Oh, sorry, there you go. Right, right, right. Um, right, well, I'll start again. Uh, yeah, the original was, um, was a short film, um, made back in 1980, when cinemas used to run B-movies, which were short films before a main feature. And I saw it in the early 80s, and I really wanted to, um, to do an adaptation of it. So we got an option on it, and, and made it into what is now Psychosis as a feature film. And the influences were really uh, the tales of the unexpected, really, if you remember that, that old show. It's like a feature film version of one of those episodes, or very much like a Hammer House of Horror. So that, 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 that was the influence. So you said Hammer, because you, you wanted it to look like a Hammer film, like an old school sort of like horror movie from the 70s. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm quite a fan of Hammer, so um, for me it was really to, to make a modern horror film that felt a bit like a film from the 70s, you know, that has that kind of sensibility. who had some issues with the <laughs> and so on. There was something about the role that really appealed to me, and I couldn't put my finger on what. <laughs> um, I think I've never done any acting, and Red showed me how to do it. It's just varying degrees of looking surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the most surprising part. At the very end... <laughs> Getting too much away, you must have said. Yeah. Now, you, you're sort of like a, a figment of the imagination on this in, in some parts, aren't you? Um, I'm not sure if um, I'm a figment of her imagination or it's the other way around. I mean, or am I from the future? I mean, these are questions that everybody asks themselves, so I think everyone here should relate to the thing. <laughs> Jackie Collins to her glamorous life. You know, she has a stunning husband and who adores her so much and a beautiful mansion and a wonderful lifestyle. And I think that's very what I imagine Jackie Collins to, to be like when she's much, much younger. And um, nobody got that. <laughs> much, much younger. <laughs> Jackie Collins. Oh, Thank you. So my humor. Um, so that was great. And um, I think. To Susan, what uh, drew me to Susan is um, all of the things that she endured and would I be up to the challenge of, of portraying all those um, layers of terror and uh, pulling it off. And it, it was scary and terrifying and, and a big challenge. And, and I actually uh, am a student of Meisner Technique, so it was actually the first time that I had to use the technique, that I actually had to prepare, that I had to figure out what worked for me to be in that space, and, and I was really excited to, to, to be a part of it and, and to uh, be directed by him and use my skills. It was um, being dropped off at the, at the party and not being able to, like, I don't think you felt like this was your first experience. Maybe you did, but you never seemed like it. And I think we were all so in it together that I think that kind of comes through in the film. And I think that uh, it's a collaborative effort and the crew, we were all together, they're all here. So um, we slept together, we worked together, we drank together, we ate together. So it's- I remember the sleeping part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was it your first time in England? You've worked in England before, Charisma? I have been here many times, various degrees of work. Um, you could call it work. This is my first work ever, I think, for any length of time. And I'll be back. I love it here. <laughs>